Andre, you did it. Yes. You did it. Looks like I did it. Yes. All week you were saying no. Don't Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts because we're about to embark on an enthralling whirlwind journey through the world of tennis. It's a tale of determination, hard work, and the rise of an underdog who rewrote history by capturing his first ATP 1000 title. And as always, if this video serves up some tennis joy, volley that like button and backhand a subscribe for more ace-worthy tennis content like this. More than 90% of you amazing spectators aren't subscribed yet, so give it a click and let's get you on our tennis-loving team. A glimpse of greatness. Before we dive into the epic saga of Andrei Rublev's monumental victory, let's take a stroll down memory lane. It was 2014 and the young Russian tennis player had already made a name for himself as the best junior tennis player in the world. Rublev's professional career kicked off with a bang and by 2017 he had reached the quarterfinals of the US Open, bagged an ATP title and skyrocketed into the top 50. The future looked brighter than a supernova but little did he know that a storm was brewing. You're a popular player. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think uh, you're just uh, lying to me. I don't know. The Fall In 2018, Rublev's career took an unexpected nosedive. A back injury, more specifically a stress fracture, struck him down at the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters during a match against Dominic Team. Like Icarus flying too close to the sun, Rublev plummeted. The injury forced Rublev to miss the rest of the clay season, including the French Open and Wimbledon. He fell into a deep depression as his passion for tennis became a double-edged sword. The more he watched others play, the more it hurt to be sidelined. Unable to engage in physical activity for the first two months of his recovery, Rublev's world grew darker. He stopped watching tennis altogether and withdrew into himself. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Rublev emerged from his dark period with a renewed determination. The Climb Rublev began to slowly recover at the start of 2019. He scored a revenge win against Team and continued to make appearances at tournaments. All the while, his contemporaries, Daniel Medvedev, Alexander Zverev and Stefanos Tsitsipas were grabbing headlines as the next generation of tennis superstars. But Rublev was quietly plotting his return. His statement win came in August 2019, when he defeated none other than Roger Federer at the Cincinnati Masters. It was a jaw-dropping 6-3, 6-4 victory in just 62 minutes, marking Federer's fastest defeat in 16 years. Later, Rublev bested Tsitsipas in the first round of the US Open, proving he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. Uh, in such a tough situation, in such a tough, uh, I don't know, uh, moment of life and uh, people supporting me, it's, it's, it's amazing. I can be only grateful and... The Resurgence By 2020, Rublev was back with a vengeance. He kicked off the year by clinching back-to-back -back titles at Qatar and Adelaide, finishing the season with a whopping five titles the most by any player that year. He also notched 41 match wins, tying with Novak Djokovic for the highest tally. Rublev had made his way into the top 10 and established himself as a permanent fixture. However, despite achieving international glory with Russia's Davis Cup win in 2021 and reaching two Masters 1000 finals at Monte Carlo and Cincinnati, the coveted big titles remained elusive. The Breakthrough 2023 was the year of reckoning for Rublev. He had one goal in mind, to capture the big titles. And so, he embarked on his epic run at the Monte Carlo Masters. Rublev's journey to the championship was nothing short of a roller coaster ride. He faced formidable opponents like Matteo Berrettini, Pablo Carino Busta, and Borna Koric. Each match was a battle 
and every victory was a testament to Rublev's unyielding spirit. In the quarterfinals, Rublev faced his compatriot, the indomitable Daniel Medvedev. Their showdown was an electric display of power, precision, and relentless determination. In a gruelling three-setter, Rublev emerged victorious, setting the stage for a semi-final clash against the enigmatic Yannick Sinner. Semi-final showdown. The semi-finals saw Rublev pitted against Italy's rising star Yannick Sinner. Both players were hungry for victory, and their contest was a breathtaking demonstration of skill and fortitude. Rublev and Sinner exchanged powerful ground strokes, with each player pushing the other to the brink. The match was a seesaw battle that went the distance, featuring tie breaks, breakpoint saved, and moments of pure tennis magic. In the end, Rublev summoned every ounce of strength to outlast Sinner in a marathon match that lasted more than three hours. And he wins it in some style. And the quest for a first Masters 1000 title. The ultimate test. The stage was set for the grand finale, and Rublev's opponent was none other than Holger Rune a former Masters 1000 champion and formidable adversary. From the first point, it was evident that Rublev had come to play. He fired off blistering serves and unleashed powerful ground strokes that left Runa reeling. But the Danish was no pushover, and he fought back with his own brand of aggressive all-court tennis. Rublev and Runa traded blows, much like two heavyweight boxers, each refusing to give an inch. In a moment that will be etched in tennis history, Rublev finally broke through. With a combination of unyielding determination, unwavering focus and sheer grit, he vanquished Runa in a thrilling three-set contest. ...over the years, but it always seemed somewhat inevitable that sooner or later... Uh, I'm happy that, uh, yeah, I'm going to the next round because when I saw the draw, I was like, okay, it's, it's amazing being, I don't know, fifth seed and have Wawrinka uh, in the first. Balancing life and tennis, Rublev's journey. Picture this, it's a scorching hot summer day and Andrei Rublev is in the middle of an intense training session. As sweat pours down his face, he relentlessly hammers forehands and backhands, pushing his limits. But what sets him apart isn't just his fiery determination, it's his approach to balancing life and tennis. Navigating the choppy waters of professional tennis while maintaining a semblance of normalcy in his personal life is a challenge Andrei Rublev has embraced with open arms. For him, it's all about finding that perfect balance between his career and the things that make him human. Envision Rublev on a rare day off, indulging in simple pleasures like a leisurely brunch with friends, exchanging jokes and laughter. Or imagine him in his favourite bookstore, eyes scanning the shelves, hungrily devouring the stories and ideas contained within their pages. These moments, seemingly mundane to some, provide Rublev with the grounding and sense of perspective essential to his growth as a tennis player and as a person. Through it all, Rublev's journey serves as a reminder that even in high-stakes world of professional sports, there's always room for laughter, love, and life beyond the baseline. A new era begins. Rublev's epic journey to his maiden ATP 1000 title was more than just a triumph in tennis. It was a testament to the indomitable human spirit and a reminder that even in the face of insurmountable odds, victory is possible for those who dare to dream. As Andre Rublev lifts the Monte Carlo Masters trophy high above his head, the world is left to ponder. Is this the beginning of a new era in tennis? Only time will tell. But for now, let us celebrate the incredible journey of a young man who fought his way to the pinnacle of his sport. You did it! Looks like I did it, yes. All week, you were saying, no, don't don't talk to me about yes. the tennis. Just just next match, next match. I don't want to do it like I did the last time. Why was this so different today? I don't know, but now we can talk. <laughs> uh, now you can <laughs> ask me this feeling. If you win the uh, 1,000, one master, what do you feel? Here's to you, Andre Rublev. May your story serve as an inspiration to us all.
And that, my friends, is game, set and match for this episode of Glam Slam Tennis. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action and what we have in store. Until next time, stay fabulous and ace those serves.